Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, we are having an amazing push towards our enemies. It's soon season ending and why not have some fun? Why not have some more merits towards ourselves? Because this game is about wars. This game is about fighting, right? If you are not fighting in Call of Dragons, you are missing out a lot of fun. So I would always recommend to have some fun uh, with your alliance members. And as I have mentioned before, Call of Dragons has the best Kingdom Builder combat gameplay that I have ever seen in any games, right? Let's try and let's see how much merit we are going to get. Uh, we just get the Elite Magma Demon uh, and I just dropped the video about it like a couple of minutes ago. Right now it's time for us to deal some damage and of course i will do i will try my best in this case i'm only using right now craig and thea because my other legions are moving forward uh, towards the battle and like front line and yes yeah, so far i will be using my one of the best performing legions which is craig and thea and let's see how much merits we are going to get out of these fights right uh, as, as always i'm zoomed out because i can understand what i'm actually clicking that's like much better in terms of understanding what to fight what to deal and what to click and yeah my uh, artifact is always on the autocast simply because uh, in this kind of wars in this kind of fights it's really hard for you to click on manually what to deal damage and what to not right of course as always whenever i was moving my legions toward the battlefield somebody tried to intercept me uh, that's why my yeah that's what actually happens again um, unfortunately but yeah like that's the bad part whenever you are trying to move your legions towards the battlefield and somebody who has flying units is having your interception you need to be cautious and yeah i hope you guys you won't gonna make mistake like i did but at, at least uh, when i saw it i had like 10k merits from this legion so it's totally fine from this case right i will try to bring my nico and kinara because on the way there is uh, our enemies uh, uh, flying eagles who are trying to intercept um our moving legions which is really annoying uh, I'm, I'm honestly think that's that's one of the worst kind of gameplay you can play in call of dragons but yeah still i will send them my Syndrome and Fragar anyways because whenever I was sending my legions towards the battlefield uh, that cavalry player just destroyed my um, archers but right now let's just move up and let's just try to deal as much damage as possible at least we already have 10k merits from that one mistake and let's hope uh, in the future fights we are going to have way more because whenever you are fighting you are always aiming to have yellow merits for yourself because that's the definition of fighting good in call of dragons whenever you're gonna open the merit store merits uh, report you will be seeing the yellow numbers um, in the merits number right my world and welling is like totally free to play world and world and welling uh world is awakened welling is like five one one three which means that uh, we are not going to deal huge amount of damage but we are going to play smart uh we are going to try to survive as much as possible and we are trying to uh, use our artifacts in a most perfect way as always i won't gonna try to click on the infantry players because that's the lowest damage you can do uh, towards the enemy legions because infantries are having high amount of hp high amount of uh, defense so it's not the wise idea for everybody to click on infantry we have we have a few five players for that so if you are trying to be more safe and you want to click on the nearest legion try to avoid infantry because you are going to get a lot of counter attack damage towards yourself and in general merits from infantry troops are way less than anything else uh, right now we're gonna move to the left side because that's where i can see enemies are grouping up 
let's try and let's deal damage to the back line uh, because from the back line you are getting highest amount of merits uh, in this game right because archers and the mages are having lowest amount of defensive stats in this game uh, yeah so far I think this uh, legion is doing way well than Craig and Thea because in terms of Craig and Thea uh, whenever I was deploying my legions I made a small mistake uh, while I was trying to deploy my legions my Craig and Thea followed the enemy legion and it got the targets from many different enemy legions and it just simply got destroyed uh, that's the mistake you shouldn't do in any kind of fights in this game and let's hope i won't gonna make any mistake like that in the near future right i think while i have been making videos about pvp gameplay it was like first most stupid mistake i have done and yeah i was pretty ashamed but yeah, whatever right uh, whenever you are fighter sometimes you can make some mistakes the most important is to participate in wars and be active uh, as a member of the alliance because if you are not active it means you are taking the spot in the alliance which is active and which wants to fight all the time uh, hopefully my legions will be here pretty soon and nobody will be able to intercept my legions while we are moving uh, while, I'm, while I'm moving them towards the front line but so far I think my world even really did much much better than than I was expecting because I am alive for a long time in terms of merits let's see how much we are going to get uh, I'm not sure if it will be yellow because enemy is moving in and out and you don't have enough time to just stand still and deal damage to them uh, so let's see I'm pretty interested by myself how well we're gonna perform even without and just having a big front line towards yourself right of course i will send my craig and thea towards the front line because that's what have been my best performing uh, legion with wyverns i'm not sure why but i think uh craig's awakened craig is dealing a lot of damage especially whenever enemy has a, a big amount of uh, nearby legions because craig's bleeding damage can be dealt to a couple of uh, nearby legions so so I think uh, that's what actually makes that legion more powerful and also as I have mentioned before Thea is giving so much buff that it can make even uh, epic hero look like legendary one simply because every single skill which Thea has in its play kit is all about buffs it's all about damage skill damage factor attack bonus um, defensive stats and all around I think Thea have been like one of the best overall heroes in the whole game so far right yeah i think my water will be gone pretty soon because enemy is moving up even with the behemoths um, like they are higher in terms of numbers but who cares right our season will be over in couple of days i think it's it's like three or four days and we have enough time and we will have enough time to heal our troops yeah finally i can use my phoenix eye with the two nearby tanks i guess if i will just move up right now it, i will just it will cost me my whole legion so i will i'm just clicking whatever is in front of me right if i will see that enemy backline is moving up of course i will click on it but so far they are standing in a great position only infantry players are uh, on the front line and they are in the back line uh, our alliance's main weakness is actually having less amount of tank players but actually i think that's the problem of almost every single alliance in the whole game uh, nobody's having fun playing with um, um infantry especially tier 4 players because if you are tier 4 and you are playing with infantry uh, that's not mainly the most fun because you are not dealing high amount of uh, counter-attack damage towards the enemies and you are not uh, that tanky which you need to be if you want to be dealing damage to uh, enemy i think if you are infantry player you are 100 percent uh, team player because you only care ab about winning you only care about how your alliance will perform and you don't care about your personal goals right uh, if i knew that infantry would be so important in this game i think i would have chosen to be infantry main but i think that's already too late because uh, as a free-to-play player i already invested all of my legendary tokens uh, towards um, 
uh, archer heroes so it will be like a waste of time from my side if i will just turn around and start playing with infantry uh, simply because my infantry heroes are pretty weak right and i would need like one more year to make at least one good infantry legion which is uh, just too much right i just want to be as impactful as possible even being as a tier 4 right now i finally my strongest legion which is my nico and kinara entered the battle um i i needed a couple of minutes to get my legion back to the track because i was using this legion for the elite magma demon which we captured i will mention it again because i'm really proud about it and yeah let's see how much damage we are going to get uh, in terms of rattle spear whenever i got it i was super happy about it but i find out that there is one big weakness with the rattle spear that whenever you are using the uh, ability the skill of the rattle spear you can't actually move and that's like big big weakness if you ask me uh, because maneuver and staying alive longer is like connected to moving around the battlefield and if you are just stuck while using your artifact i think you will be able to expose yourself and you will be getting a lot of targets for yourself as a uh, target right and as you can see my main idea how to fight in the big wars is that whenever i see that my legion is getting targeted i straight up move back i remove those targets and then i go in so if i am using my rattle spear it becomes impossible for me to uh, moving and move away simply because rattle spear gets you like kind of stuck you know while you are using the skill of the rattle spear right unfortunately enemy managed to get us back but i think we are dealing a lot amount of damage uh, to this back lane they i think they are kind of low hp and i think right now i will be the only one who will get targets from the enemies and let's see uh, how we are going to perform with this legion right uh, simply because I always expect that my Nico and Kinara will be able to have a uh, most amount of merits out of any legions which I have but in this season uh, my Craig and Thea um, got a big surprise for me uh, simply because I did not uh, understood how powerful Craig and Thea would be with the Wyverns uh, and how I would uh, get uh, all the time yellow merits with that legion so far I think I stayed alive for a long long time with this legion plus i was dealing damage to uh backline which means i should be having a nice amount of merits finally i'm using rattle spear and i'm hitting uh, infantry and if you are hitting infantry with your rattle spear it means that uh, you are reducing the defense of the enemy and infantry has always the highest amount of defense out of any legions in this game right um, until my legion has a low amount of hp i will try to be as impactful as possible because uh getting my legions back home would take a lot of time unfortunately while my alliance members are trying to group up i will just try to be as as impactful as possible right let's see uh, well yeah my legion is almost gone 82,000 uh, troops only left towards uh, my most powerful legion and yeah i will just follow up with this infantry player uh, maybe i will get a little bit more merits out of this legion right in general whenever you have low amount of hp on your legions it means that you are dealing less damage but if your town is not close and if you need a lot of time to refill your legion i always recommend to let your legion die and then start moving right i have only left two more legions uh, to fight uh, let's see uh, how we're gonna do uh, because i think my craig and thea did absolutely fine in terms of damage in terms of merits and in terms of whole fighting right that's what i have said it many times it's really important to understand that um, dealing damage does not give you a lot amount of merits uh, merits keeps you staying alive longer right that's why i think hp mana stones and hp as a stat is the most important in the whole game game uh, simply because it will give you the opportunity to um, like stay alive longer uh, staying alive longer means that you will click on many different uh, enemy legions and that's how you get merits in this game so far i managed to get four million merits i understand last season was much much better in terms of merits because i was close to close to eight to ten million merits but this season our enemies had way more tier five players which makes a 
everything uh, really really hard right so far what you can see we are trying to gather we are trying to gather for a big push and uh, let's see if it will happen sooner i will be able to capture it in this video if not i think i already did pretty good in terms of merits and in terms of the uh, survivability in the battlefield right uh, in terms of long range warfare i'm pretty sad that we are not going to get uh, long range warfare in the next season which which gives us a lot of questions how archers are going to perform and what's the uh, next step in terms of archers but i think that's normal in terms of meta gameplay of the uh, call of dragons sometimes there is mages which are the uh, strongest sometimes there were like infantry with gorish and skolgul and sometimes that's the archers right these past two seasons or like past seasons it was all about archers everybody changed their legion type to archers but um, i guess it was time for the uh, other legions to be uh, like meta legion type and i think it's time for it to be cavalry because cavalry have never been uh, the main legion type of the call of dragons and the addition of the new cavalry heroes what i know about them is that they have amazing talents uh, which makes makes them even more powerful right yeah like three minutes left until we're gonna start pushing towards the enemy uh let's see how we will perform in this push and how we are going to how much merits we are going to get in general out of this fight i understand you guys maybe not like this little stalemate in terms of video because uh, for myself i always prefer to fight all the time and i don't like the time whenever everybody should group up and wait for the alliance members but that's why i said infantry players are important you need to wait for your infantry players in order for you guys to uh, feel safe as a backline right that's why it's important to have a lot of infantry players especially tanks and as you can see our formation infantry is on the front and the backline is all about archers and mages uh, also what i need to say about myself for the future season is that i'm preparing bertrand and tohar uh, to try and test how well it will perform and how it will be done right now i'm trying to get my bertrand to five um, level on the first skill then i will try to get five level on the dohar skill and then let's see how five one 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 and five one 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 uh bertrand and dohar will be performing and also i think uh, i already have shadow fedra kind of ready for my uh, bertrand and dohar and my only legendary artifact which is tr of arbon on level 4 that's why i decided to uh, get this legion and prepare it for the future seasons uh, two minutes left until we're gonna push for some more uh, let's see how much merits we are going to get out of this fight uh, at least the yellow merits would be amazing uh, let's see let's try and let's uh, prepare ourselves one more minute and we are going to start our push um, enemies also grouping up and they have a lot amount of keeps here uh, one two three uh, three keeps uh, even four and a lot of towers um, i guess that's simply the fight for the end of the season everybody wants to get some merits for the merit story fresh or in general uh, any like maybe uh, well, let's check it will like two two more days and our season will be over so why not fight why not try our best uh, in terms of the legions which we are having right now right uh, simply because if you are not fighting in call of dragons i'm not sure what you are doing this game is not farm well uh, farming is the most boring aspect of the whole game so uh, try to be try to get ready try to get your troops ready try to get your um uh, legions ready in, in in terms of fighting because without fighting it will be almost impossible to get some more fun in the game yeah our behemoth is getting dropped um, it's uh, it's a rock thunder rock as i as i think yeah, yeah thunder rock and our push is getting started uh, let's see uh, i don't want to click on the uh, infantry troops which will be on the front lines i will try my best to click on the back line because that's what i think you should 
should be clicking whenever you are playing as a uh, backline uh, units, as a archers, as a mages, because um, infantry as a tier. If I was tier five, I would be clicking on the infantry, but simply because I'm a tier four player, I would be dealing a lowest amount of damage to infantry. That's why I think uh, dealing damage to infantry is the worst worst possible thing which you can do. Enemy just dropped a giant bear, which was kind of expected, which is kind of normal. Uh, but yeah, I'm not trying to click on the uh, front line. I'm trying to click on the big line. And let's see by just clicking on mages and archers how much merits we are going to get out of these fights, right? Let's see. Uh, so far, yeah, it's my first target. I guess somebody from the uh, infantry players tried to target my legion, but no problems. Let's see how well we can survive and how much damage we are going to get. I think having Craig in the mass PvP battles is amazing because Craig main skill deals damage to nearby legions. It's a bleed damage which is absolutely amazing. I did not expect how much damage I would be dealing with my Craig and Thea and all the time I'm getting surprised and surprised how well we are performing with uh, Craig and Thea. Unfortunately uh, somebody is trying to attack my legion from the long distance which is uh, quite surprising. I guess some Somebody, yeah, I'm near the keep and unfortunately keep target was hitting my legions, which is, uh, you can't avoid that, right? It's, it's almost impossible for you to avoid. Uh, there is so many legions nearby me and keep uh, target was just targeting my Craig and Thea, which already did like 10k damage. And I think that's totally fine, right? Uh, let's just use my Syndron and Fregar and I think this video became like too, too long in terms of watching and let's try to uh, bring it smaller and let's try to finish it simply because um, it's, it will be boring to watch half an hour video about fighting because uh, for that I think there is like live streams and I think video should be like at least 20 to 21 or 25 minutes right. Um, I will try my best to use the Syndrion in the most perfect way, nobody is targeting me. Uh, my Syndrion is kind of more defensive because I have Heart of Kamasi on my Syndrion and Fregar, which is defensive artifact, more of a supportive type, uh, simply because uh, Syndrion and Fregar is 5-1-1-1 and I am kind of not expecting to deal a lot amount of damage to them. Also, unfortunately, I'm getting a lot of artifact damage towards this, uh, this space where is my Syndrion standing, but let's try to utilize this legion and uh, as soon as the Syndrion will be gone I will be able to check how much merits we got out of this fight right which should be most interesting that's why I never check the reports uh, while I'm fighting because I want to get the satisfaction at the end of the fight whenever all of my legions are already gone and that's like best moment to analyze how you perform that what you did right and what you did wrong in this though I made couple of mistakes I did not pay attention too much towards my legions which is not the best thing I would advise uh, to anyone but that sometimes happens if you are fighter then you understand me that uh, sometimes even you can make some mistakes uh, which is normal for this game yeah finally my legions are all home uh, my uh, hospital doesn't really look so bad now let's try and look at the merit score, how much merits we got out of this fight, right? Um, my strongest legion got highest amount of merits, you know why? Because uh, Nico and Kirinara stayed alive longer than Sandron and Fregar and Craig and Thea. That's why I think um, the main reason why uh, I got yellow merits on Nico and Kinara and Waldir and Welin, simply because they were alive longer, they managed to deal more damage because they did not get killed killed so fast. Craig and Thea, I was praising them so much but I made mistakes with the Craig of Craig and Thea in these fights and that's my fault. Uh, that's the merit score. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you did, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make uh, videos for this amazing game. I hope everybody will have an amazing day, morning or night. We are going to see each other very very soon. Bye bye and good luck.